Hello, welcome back. This is Shauri from TVT Studio, and today we are going to make a tune shader. So, by the end of this video, we are you can see and sh tune shader like this. So, let's just start. So, I'm going to delete this one as we are going to make it again. So, Shift A, add in an diffuse PSDF, connect it. Uh, I'm going to remove my solidify modifier. Uh, so, you can see over here, it's just. <coughs> making some effect on our character so we are going to add an shader to RGB sorry not this one shift a shader to RGB yeah so now a color ramp now bring the white till here and the black till here now uh, make sure that the major portion must be the black one bring it as tight as possible something like this and then select all of these and shift d bring it up and then add an mix rgb now we'll connect this one into the top socket and now uh, you can see an effect like this now we'll bring the white back now keep the factor at the over here and bring the black this side and bring it uh, something like this and bring the white uh, and this to see the effect better let's just shift D and bring another one over here uh, now uh, we can bring it at 0.5 and now we can see the effect better keep it at uh, somewhere near here moreover let's just come over here and keep it yeah so keep it at the end and bring the white yeah so keep it uh, something like this and a 0.5 now the reason we have uh, done that is now uh, uh, if you need a smooth shadow then it helps in it select all of this and control G which brings them into one group now over here adding an add shader come over here remove it connect this one over here and connect this one into the surface then this one over here now shift a add in an emission shader And then keep the strength at 0.12 or 3. I'm keeping it at 0.2. Now bring the group input over here. Connect the second one over here. And then connect this one over here. Rename this. I'm going to rename this as color and this one as emission color okay now uh, take this over here rename it as emission strength and um, over here uh, we can connect this one over here now uh, 
when we bring this back and forth smoothens it as I've told you no I'm sorry it uh, either brings it at uh, complete uh, uh, kind of it changes the color of the shadow and the color of the body a little bit when you come after 0.5 okay so if it's below 0.5 then you can just make the color of the shadow dark by just bringing it back side i'm going to keep it at 0.5 as always now uh, over here we can even bring this one now uh, you can rename this as a uh, uh, uh darkness and this one as softness now we have an doom shader ready coming over here default uh, you can just change it at complete white and and then you can just change uh, the default emission over here emission strength over here minimum and maximum now over here you can see that as soon as I bring it at point or one it brings uh, no change in the whole color there are a little bit changes over here so point 0.9 also does the same point 0.6 point 0.5 point 0.4 yeah so I'm going to make the maximum at point 0.6 and the minimum as always now the darkness the maximum at 0.5 now you can see that it becomes lighter the shadow becomes lighter let's just try it as 0 0.6 yeah so 0 0.6 is better now in the softness you can see that as soon as uh, i bring it at point 2 there are there is no change moreover so i'm going to keep this at point 2 and the emission color over here i don't know why it changed the default the darkness at here and the softness at here maximum little bit one but over here in the minimum uh, point 0.1 because if it's zero then after here then okay let's just let's just keep it as it is and now let's just add an image texture bring it into the color and open your texture now even if you don't have a texture uh, it's not going to change much in your whole character uh, i'm going to show you that in just a little time okay mm. so 
Um, yeah, so bring the white over here and here and the black over here, which does what we need. And uh, there is the problem of here making the darkness at full uh, does the job and the softness over here. Yeah, so we have what we need. Our shader is nearly ready. 0.1, I guess. And the color even darker. Now, if you want a darker one, then you can just duplicate this. Shift A, add in a normal. Bring the dot into this one. And then... Connect this over here. Uh, coming back, uh, make sure that this is over here at somewhere near here. Make sure there are no red spots in here. And then you can just change this a little bit to make uh, it darker. Yeah. So now we need an outline for that. Add in an solidify modifier. Keep it at point. A three I mean sorry point zero zero three and then remove fill in the normals flip it in the materials keep it at one now uh, you won't see uh, something like this because uh, you need to add in a material completely black uh, over here next to this one and if it's two times next uh, to that then over here in the material it must be two okay now uh, and over here in the uh, complete black one enable black face calling now if, if it's not there it's going to be something like this that's not what we want so enable back face calling and uh, we're going to get something like this now that's the that's my version of uh, Toon Shader. So uh, if you like my content, then please like, share, and subscribe my YouTube channel. And bye bye.